Hello! In this video, we are going to share with you how we got seven coaching clients in just seven days. Yeah, not just anybody, but like the ideal client. So once they're, they're amazing. Yeah, coaches that are called to really make a deep impact in the world, like these are like our ideal great people. These are people that are investing a good amount of money to be with us. So it's like, it's not like... $72, seven of them, you know, this was like a, a, a good investment to work with us for a while to really get the support and guidance they need to get to the next level in their coaching business. How did so, we do that? If you are a coach, someone who knows that you're called to make a difference with people and you're like, how in the world did you sign seven clients in seven days? Can I have some of that too? Then this video is for you. So really we want to break this down into three different areas. So the first thing that we did is we got really intentional. Like what did we want? want to create. Mm -hmm. right? I think a lot of times we like, oh yeah, it would be great if I could get more clients or if I could, I I'm really want to make a big impact in the world. Yeah. Right. But we're not clear on what that number specifically looks like. What are, what is it going to look like? Like have the intention and like create the plan and reverse engineer it. So exactly. something that we did, go ahead. I can hear yeah, you. Yeah, no, it's like, well, we're like, okay, so we're halfway through the month. We are, we were really out for this goal. We, we were, we were already had this thing going where it's, we were going to talk about it at the end of like this amazing thing that was happening and I, we'll get into the details of it, but it's like, we we're like, okay, what do we want to create? What was the actual result we want to actually create from this? Because it's great to have people register to come see us and, and get a ton of value and all that. But what is what do we actually want from this event or immersion? So step back, secret uh, revealed, we did a virtual event, right? So we're going to like break down the process. So ultimately, what we did is like, so to have this event, mm -hmm. right? So the the way that we essentially did this, we're going to break down even more how we did this is I don't care what anybody says. Challenges aren't dead. Events aren't dead. Like virtual events work really, really well when you do it correctly. So mm -hmm. first things first, we got really intentional. How many people did we want to show up at our virtual event? Uh, and what was the outcome that we wanted to create? Your intention, your outcomes are always the things that you want to start with. Yep. From there, we were like, okay, but wait a minute. Hold up. That is a lot. We've never had these numbers before. We've never been able to do this before. Right. So there were things within our mind and our hearts. And, you know, this we have these stories that we tell not just in our subconscious, our unconscious, but like literally our every cell and organ in our being holds stories of past and says that, you know, you can't do this or this is too much or this is too hard or this is impossible. Right. So all of those stories. We've never will, done this many. Before. We've never done this before. Yeah. Like, how are we going to do this? Right. So first things first, before we did anything is we got really intention, like intentional about the result that we wanted. And then we really got clear on like, what were, what are those things? Like if I'm thinking like I'm out to have this virtual event and we're out to have 300 registrations to this event. And the first thing that came up was like, how the heck are we going to do that? Mm -hmm. That's a lot of people. <laughs> Well, where are these people are going to come from? How are we going to do this? Okay, so those right off the bat, if we didn't crush those out first, then we never would have been able to do the rest. Yeah. Right. So having a process to be able to rewire and reprogram and clear the blind spots, clear the resistance, clear the things that are out, like that are going to get in your way. Do that first things first. Yeah. And so we we have a few modalities like Holly is trained in like several things. We, we use them all. We're like going through all Full the hand, bringing out all the tools in that toolbox, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, OK, so we get to look at, OK, where are these things? And we went fine tooth cone through each one and cleared them all out of our the cool thing is, is now we're 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 flying wide open we're freaking on uh, fire on, on fire when you're out when you clear all this stuff and you clear them from your nervous system you clear them like so it's like a neurosomatic approach it's really a multi-dimensional approach because we're doing the energy we're doing the subconscious we're doing the somatics we're doing it all together and at that point you feel like you are on fire nothing can stop you let's freaking go i'm more to release my i yawned um but yeah so second thing that we did uh, anything to add? A, add no, to that's that? it. All right. So second thing that we did is, um, why don't you explain the-, the Yeah, we thing? got really clear on who do we want to work with? Like, this is like, like what, and what are their challenges? So what are their, what are they dealing with? 
What are their fears, their frustrations? What are their aspirations? What are their desires? What are the mission? What are they out for? Because what are their values? And we spoke to all of it, right? We spoke to all of it to, to attract these ideal people to us. And I believe we did. We nailed it. We did. And I, I want to say, like, we were really clear on who we worked with in the first place, but we got even more clear. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, what exactly are people going through? Like, we re-listened to uh, past calls, like, got and like, really engaged. Like, what is the itty bitty details? Like, when you lead with your values and, like, things that are important to you, you start attracting those people, right? So we just attracted like these past eight we've gotten more than seven at this point but they are just incredible incredible people and it was because we know them right and i'm not talking about like we we market to the pain or be this bully like market to the aspirations no i say speak to all of it we are full holistic human beings so you need to know your people what is it that they want what is it they're out for and we created this event that had a very specific result with a very specific time frame of that result mm -hmm. right and we that's how we named it so it was the 50k by christmas hence all of the christmas stuff back here yeah. we are still rolling with 50k by christmas if you you know in the links below join us with this 50k by christmas immersion experience that we're that we're out for so again it was getting that specific result in the specific amount of time and creating i want to say like kind of bring in this Russell Brunson, I'm going to give him some shout outs with this. He talks about the dramatic demonstration. Now, there are so many different events, challenges, trainings, like things on the internet, right? Like that is no secret. You can find one dozen within every three seconds that you scroll on Facebook. So when you're having a virtual event, you want to have it where it's like, pow, wow, that looks amazing. I need to go to that, right? Because it's not just a a money thing. It's a time commitment, right? So how is the event that you're going to put on? How is that going to be worth the time for your people? And that, that starts with knowing who your clients are and what they want and what holds them back and everything that you can possibly know about your clients. You want to know before you have this event. So we created, and I mean, we went all out. We got, hold on, hold on. We got Sienna hats. We got pictures of my dog wearing a little reindeer uh, headset thing. We talked about this event nonstop all the time. Like, so when you're having an event, you want to talk about it. That is, I've seen a lot of people, they go, all right, I'm going to have this event or I'm doing this challenge. And then they're like, I'm doing it next week. And I haven't really promoted it yet. I've told like a few people. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to like really go full out and share like, I'm doing this event. It's the 50K by Christmas. Like, this is what we're doing. Come join us. We had pre-trainings. We gamified the whole thing. We, like, we rocked it, mm -hmm. right? And and I believe it was because we got all of that stuff out and, like, before, like, all of the resistance, we became really aligned to what it is that we were doing. Chad and I just became, like, just ultra sync. Like, this is the vision. This is the mission. This is what we're doing. Let's go. Um, and we just fully went full force on it. And I want to say when we did this event, like, it wasn't just a, a training, Right. And and I think that's important. If you train too much on these events, what ends up happening is people are like, oh, my gosh, that was such good information. I got so much. Thank you. And that's not what you're out for. Yeah. It was <laughs> funny. We were actually watching somebody else's training and they were talking about one of their clients before they started working with them. They were saying that uh, she did this event and all these people were messaging her on Instagram or whatever. And she's like, Hey, thank you so much. You inspired me so much, girl. Thank you. I, I you, you pushed me over the level. I actually went and signed up with so and so in their program, the competitors <laughs> program. And it's like, what the hell? Like, it's like you don't want to like you need to create these events in a way that spread the gap of where your clients are. Because this is the thing, I find that um, the limiting belief that's stopping them from actually getting the results that they're, that they really want are also the limiting beliefs that are stopping them from hiring you. So it's like, you get to make an impact through your marketing, through your, like through your process, your training that actually cuts down these limiting beliefs to the point where they get a choice. You just now, you just get everything out of their way 
show them your process and how you help them. And then they get to choose, do they want to go the easy way of getting support and guidance through the, the thing that they're trying to do? Or do they want to go the hard way and try to figure it out themselves? Because and, and then helping them become aware that like the reason that they're actually struggling is this. Like the reason you're struggling is because you're, you're messaging, you're not clear on your niche, you're not clear on who your person is, you don't have a process that brings them from like, they don't know you to what do we call cold do it rolled. Um, you don't have that process. And that's why you're struggling. That's why you feel like you're going in the cycle of maybe getting some results and get some clients. And then you're like, uh, now what do I do? And, and you don't have that system in place. And so when you can create that system, it creates freedom, it creates this impact, it creates this difference where you can start uh, enrolling these regular clients and it just, it becomes a well-oiled machine. And then I think on top of that, as you're doing the event, like it's not just the training and, and it's creating the system and speaking into all of that. And then also having this discovery piece into it, mm -hmm. right? And as coaches, we know this, the transformation comes with personal discovery, right? Mm -hmm. It's like the whole basis of coaching. So I think especially if you're a transformational coach and you have this event, you don't want to be so much as teaching. You want to be in that discovery of how they're discovering the things that they're missing and how you, because you helped them get that discovery, you now become the go-to of like, okay, I had this discovery. Now I need your help. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's important to have that discovery piece in there as well. So on that note, that was really it. And then the follow-up process at the end. So we had a really strong call to action. We shared everything. Um, and then the follow-up process at the end, it becomes really like an interview process. So if you do this whole first at part uh, well, and effective, then the end part is really just an interview to see if you guys are the right fit. Like they're already, like I said, enrolled to sold before they ever get on a call with you, right? At that point, it's just making sure that they're a good fit. It's a conversation on both sides and all as well. Right. So on that note, if you are like, man, I want to see this event. Like, what did you guys do? Uh, right in the description below, go and check out 50K by Christmas Immersion and, you know, look at it from a di couple different angles. But ultimately, like, hello, 50K by Christmas, let's freaking go. Right. Um, and start setting this up for yourself. I believe that coaches are the transformation, the driving force of transformation in a world that really needs it right now. So thank you for what it is that you're doing. We are out to impact you so that you can make the difference that you know that you're called to make. So together we can make this world a better place. I appreciate you so much. Go ahead and click that link below. If you are not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and subscribe now and we will see you on the next video. Bye.